Hey guys, welcome back, and welcome to the f possibly the finale to the episode here, or to the series, because in our last episode, we uh, took on Tiamat and beat her. I mean, ain't nothing better than that, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare for the final boss in the final area, uh, the Chaos Shrine is actually a familiar place right here but before we go there we got a special little stone to turn into a special little sword remember way back when when we were fighting ogre ogres and worms uh, a little dwarf in a blacksmith here looking for a legendary stone but we have it now and it is the way to get the best weapon er, for the knight in the game. Could this be Adamantite? I'll have you the finest sword you ever lay your eyes on. It's done. All of my years, I have not crafted a finest sword. Go now, take it with yous. You obtain Excalibur. <laughs> the cool thing about Excalibur is that it significantly increases your attack. Uh, it's supposedly super effective against all elements or all weak uh, all elemental weaknesses. So it's really the best weapon for knights. So now I can hand off the defender back to uh, denied here, and yeah, that's probably the best weapon in the game for him. Best weapon in the game for you. So yeah, we're done here. The next thing I would like to do is revisit towns to. Uh, fill up my magics because I'm missing a lot like I know level 2 magic sucks but I'm gonna get it anyway uh, level 4 I had to go get that over in Elfland or Elfheim whatever I didn't get denied level 4 at all wow oh man and level 7 magic we have to go get over in uh, on rack we got places to go. So let's start with Elfheim first. Go ahead and get the level... Uh, level uh, 4 magic, since we're right here. And... I don't expect this final boss area, or for this final dungeon, to be that much of a pain. Come on, dude. Move. 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 Thank you. Move. But let's see. Okay, level 4 magic. Uh, uh, Poisana, I guess. Vox, I guess. And fear. Lame spells, but whatever. Uh, should I just give denied a bunch of black magic for level 4 haste is actually useful we'll, t we'll take that Bazara, take that oh we're actually okay haste and Bazara. Uh, um both these spells suck but you know what I'll give Rollin confused and I'll give Deny it some white magic. I'll give you Null Frost. Okay. That's all for here, I think. As far as magic goes, uh, we need level 2 white magic, so let's go all the way back to Provoka. Yeah, go north. 
I mean, this bit, it really isn't that necessary, but I like to have my magic slots filled. I just skipped them when I first got here because they were terrible. <laughs> like, you really don't need blind, silence, you don't, you don't need any of these. But I'll buy them anyway. And... Uh, uh, what level 2 magic did I get for you? I already forgot. I think I got you like Saber or something. Yeah, I got you Temper. Sure, I'll blind foes. Give you the basic Blizzard spell. And Darkness, I guess. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Unfortunately, I, you're not that good in this game. Okay, and that's level 2 magic. I can do level 6. Yeah, let's go get level 6 magic. That would be in... Prov not Provoca, uh, Crescent Lake, right? I'm a little fuzzy on some of this stuff. It's been so long. Yeah, level 6 right here. Uh, well... What do I get for my white mage here? Sona... I guess... Invisera? Sure. And I guess I can get, uh, some black magic. I mean, death is okay. It's not the best thing in the world. Now I'll get death for a Rollin here. I guess Thundega for, uh... Denied. And this yeah, stun is so stupid. All these spells are awful, but you know what? I'll get stunned just for what? Oh. Oh well, I'll get death for you then. Oh, you can't learn that either. That uh, no wonder. I forgot. Red Wizard can only learn Thundega from here. Well, poopy. All right. Can't learn Stona. That's lame. Protectora. Sure. There you go. Now we need level 7 magic, right? Oh, we still can't even get level 8. But you know what? We can get level 7 magic. And I think level 7 magic is actually actually split between Onrak and um, Gaia. For some weird reason, they split it into two locations. And level 8 magic, I think only has like one spell. I could be wrong though. I've been wrong a lot in this playthrough. Alright, Gaia. Home of the Fierce Knights. Kiraja, yes. Diaja, sure. Apparently, the Red Wizard can't learn either of these. So yeah, I think the uh, Denied's capped out on his spells. No! Okay. Uh, he can at least learn Blazaga. And we're going to teach Brack to uh, Black Wizard. And is that really all the magic here? I could have sworn there was more. Oh well. We can't learn level 8 magic anyway. Right now. So let's head over to Onrak. And that'll be pretty much the last stop before... We go to the final boss, really. <laughs> Oh, 
On rack, there you are. Uh, touchdown here? And I equipped the Excalibur, so we should actually see it in action. Why not? There it is, a giant sword. That's amazing. I love it. I should probably say it in pretty soon. I'm not too worried about missing the, 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 the Thor's hammer, by the way. It's basically just a hammer that uh, can cast Thundera. So it's like using the gauntlets, but in the form of a weapon. And the White Wizard isn't really going to be very powerful when it comes to attacking anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Black Magic, however. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We have Saber and Blind. Blinds one foe at darkness. That's stupid. Saber, I'm actually going to try. Uh, I'm just not going to use Blind ever. Kyolaga? Yes. That's going to be a must for upcoming stuff. Null Death? Sure. Why not? It's going to be one of the few things that the Red Wizard can learn, so... Why not? And you know what? That's the last uh, spell preparation we're going to do. And if I really, really, really wanted to, I could grind up and get level 8 magic and show off full life and uh, flare. And there's a holy spell somewhere. I just gotta find it. But... Uh, this is the point in the game where I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it. You know? I did it the way I wanted. I wanted to do it with no grinding, like very, very, very little grinding. And I'm going to prove to you that you don't need the ultimate spells to beat the game. Or the ultimate armors. You know. Just a chill, casual playthrough. And hell, okay. So let's go to our airship. Ugh. I said, let's go to our airship. <laughs> go, come on. Okay, Desert Beretta, we're gonna kill you just because your Beretta brethren really, really hit us really hard. We're not even in the desert. Go back home. You're too far. Okay, uh, to the Chaos Shrine. Now, I think it's called Temple of the Fiends in the original. So, at this point in the game, a lot of people call it Topher, because you're returning to the Temple of the Fiends. So it's like Temple of the Fiends Revisited. So... Here we go! Okay, yeah, we're good on hit points and all that stuff, so we're gonna save. I'm gonna save on this file, and I'm gonna save on a separate file. Because there's some special things I wanna do that I wanna do after we do this, so... Enjoy the best song in the game. Now, remember back in uh, Lufia, where they were talking about five warriors who turned into bats? Well... The power of the four fiends absorbed from the crystals was being fed into the past by the black crystal. The one distorting the beautiful light of the crystals is the one we've been looking for all along. The true root of all evil lies just ahead. 
Shine the light of the four crystals on the black crystal that lies in the center. Doing so will open a time portal to this shrine as it existed 2,000 years ago. We are the Sky People. We came to this shrine in, in an attempt to find the source of the world's ruin. That was 400 years ago. The curse of the fiends changed us into this form and prevented us from speaking. The light of the crystals has allowed us to speak again. Okay. The light. The light of the foal that we've been seeking all this time. The light will open the time portal. The portal will transport... Okay. I get it. There's a time loop. Now... <laughs> Get ready for the most intense uh, fights you've seen all game so far. As we hold up our four crystals and activate Captain Planet Syndrome. You focus the light of the four shining crystals, fire, earth, water, and wind onto the black crystal. The flow of time surges and space begins to warp. With just one step forwards... <laughs> forwards? <laughs> you will travel back 2,000 years in time. With our powers combined, we are Captain Planet! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> this is also the best song in the game. Okay. Let's do this. Look how big this place is now. Okay. Yeah, we got dragons, we got worms, we're gonna get ha having all kinds of fun in here. And if this gets really overwhelming for me here, I might just exit out. And if I do happen to level up to where I get level 8 magic, I may... <laughs> actually go get it. I don't know, though. We're really overleveled here. And we're getting constant ambushes, ow, ice storms. Pixel's taking a lot more damage than I thought he would. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix that. Uh, no frost? This is a good time for that. Ha! Shield block. Ah no! We're already dying. Karaga, go. Okay, cool. Ooh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this place can really suck. <laughs> and Hilaga, please. Hilaga is the best heal spell. Heals a lot to everybody. Okay, and you'll notice a theme with this place that every part of the dungeon has like earth it has basically all the creatures in the game but uh, it's, it's somewhat themed like you'll see all the earth creatures in one floor you'll see all the fire ones in another and I think that I think that's a really nice touch where they include all the creatures in the final dungeon Oh, the harps. 
If I can ever get on the floor long enough to where you can actually hear more of the song, it'd be cool. Alright, Black Knights. Get wrecked with Excalibur. And electric chair with uh, Thundega. There we go. Oh my god, yeah. Oh yes, and I got a good HP growth. He, he probably broke 500. Yeah, he has 500 HP now. Awesome. Okay, nothing there. I actually don't remember the layout of this place very well. So I'm gonna have to fight some green dragons for sure. Poison gas? Ow. Ten thousand gil from that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Black Knights. Can't we all just get along, you know? Why why do you gotta be all black? Why why do you, why can't you just you know, come to the light and be warriors of light and not darkness. Can you just chill out? That was pretty decent damage, but I'm almost positive Rollins would do better if he lives. Yeah, way better. Oh, that sweet experience. That does not matter when you hit the end of the game. Don't you just hate that, though? When you reach the end of the game, and you've gone through this incredible journey, and you get, like, loads of experience at the end, where it doesn't matter. I mean... It, <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's debatable. I mean, you can... You can, uh, argue that maybe you need the experience, maybe you need the power level at the end of the game. Well, I like to think at this point that it's just what you think, what you've achieved in your journey should get you ready for this point. And we got a Deathbringer? Oh, ho hold up, hang on a minute, what is that? Is that, is that even any good? A sword that casts death when used. Red wizard can use it. It's a red wizard exclusive. Ooh, hang on a minute. It's actually better than the defender. Oh my god. <laughs> Accuracy goes down by 10 points, but increases uh, attack by 6 and evasion by 5. That is a lucky find. Ooh. Okay, we didn't go in this room before, because I'm a dingus. This is where you use the loot, of course. Awesome, I remember now. We're getting somewhere. If you, for some reason, for whatever reason, did not talk to Princess Sarah after beating Garland and didn't get the flute, or get, didn't get the loot, you couldn't do this part. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel much better now. Um, actually getting somewhere. So. Uh, let's try... Oh, black, black flans are actually a rare encounter. So let's... Kill them? Just to add them to the bestiary. Oh, that, that wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Okay. And no, I'm not doing super speed or nothing. I'm not editing it that way. 
Y'all are in it for the long haul with me. Okay. But what I could do is use the uh, uh, on use items, like, I don't know, uh, Mage's Staff. I could use the Gauntlets. I can attack and attack. Kill them all with fire, please. Let's burn them to hell. I'm getting like very visibly frustrated. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for stairs down. Not dragon zombies. survive. You're a dragon, that's how. I got it. Please, let... Okay. Uh... Frost stuff. Uh... Attack. And use the mage staff, actually. Save your MP. And that, that Deathbringer was such a great find, though. It really increased uh, Denied's attack. And Denied's getting hit points. That's 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 great. Okay. Ugh. Finally, something something good. All right. Um. I guess we can try going down. White dra <laughs> Okay, well, we've learned that running away usually doesn't work. So... Heliga... Attack, and we'll just burn you with fire. It's the quickest way to kill you. Hopefully you won't be buttholes and use your blizzard attack. And you just... Okay. And you're much weaker! What the heck? I... I what? Why can't you all do 30 damage to everybody? That's not cool. We're only got good HP MP growth. Awesome. Okay, let's just... Uh... Okay, so you can't go down. Left it is. I may just in, uh, title this this video "Ridiculous Encounter Rate," because my God. I mean, it's taking everything in me to not get like. Stop ice storming. I get it, you like to flap your wings and create an, an uh, ice, but it's just not cool. Cool, okay. Uh, can I go left, like all the way? And something happen? Camaros are no problem. Their stupid uh, blazing is not that much to worry about. Cool. 
cool. Down. Let's go down. Okay, underground one. Uh... I think I have to go all the way around at this point. I know I said I was looking at maps, but now I'm not, because now I feel better, so... Ow! Eight hits, eight damage? Really? Maybe you have Stone Touch or something and it didn't work. This is definitely the Earth Floor. Got Medusa's here. Okay, I... okay. There shouldn't be any, like, any dragon BS here. Yeah, Earth Elem, okay. Yeah, we're definitely in the right spot. Cool. Okay. Oh, come on! Okay, run. I'm getting really, really sick of this. What happened to, uh, getting surprise attacks? Okay, can't go there, so you have to go all the way around. The long way, of course. There's, n there's never shortcuts with stuff like this. I mean, why would you want shortcuts? I don't know, to make life simple and easy? Oh boy. If this keeps getting, if this keeps up and it's like super horrible, I'm just gonna cut out the uh, random encounters all, all together from this point. I know I'm complaining a lot, sorry. But you feel my pain, right? I mean, if you were in this situation, would you keep going? Surprise enemy, yay, let's go. Okay. We're doing good. But now, it's the Fiends Revisited. That's right, guys. It's a boss rush. We get to fight all four Fiends all over again. But, this time, they're actually uh, better than what they were when you first encountered them, because they, uh, well, they're 2,000 years in the past, and they haven't aged, and they have all their abilities and whatnot, so... Fortunately, though, this guy's weak against uh, fire, holy, you know, swords. Nice block. Their magic defense has, got, has significantly increased, though. So it won't be as easy. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna temper the knights. Haste the night. And just have him just slaughter everything. There, that should do it. The Lich... I don't, I don't even know how much the improved Lich has in terms of uh, HP, but goodness, this defense is really high. But not high enough. Goodbye, sir. You will never terrorize the future. Okay. Uh, where to go from here? Uh, I don't even know. Well, I do know, but this is fire. Fire hurts.
fire lizards and whatnot, blazing it up. Very weakly. Jeez. Y'all suck. <laughs> Lyra keeps gaining levels. I'm impressed. Denied, not so much. Okay. Uh, I think we gotta go around on the right side. I remember this one wrapping around pretty well. So this... Okay, wrapping around so well that the shortest route would not work. Gotcha. Alright, so probably up there. Who designed this place? I mean, the king of, of, of go-arounds? I mean... I get kind of uh, upset whenever I think of like the architecture of a game and how a dungeon, they wrap around so horrible, so like... You go the long way every time. There's never, like, a shortcut. Uh, okay, this way. Lava worms, though, they're pretty fun. Now, if you've ever watched uh, other people play, this, play these games, there's a wonderful channel and he goes by the name of Blue Ankylo. I'm gonna give a shout out to him because he's he he, he has very similar tastes to to what I do, and he plays Final Fantasy One a lot. It's one of his favorite games too, and he actually it inspired me to do this sort of thing. I've been on his channel a lot. He streams every now and then. Really cool guy. If you if you want some quality gaming, go to him. And also me, but, you know, if you like this sort of thing, he also has some Final Fantasy videos. And he does pretty well, you know, commentating throughout the whole thing. <sighs> okay. Now it's Merilith. You know what? I'm going to use the, uh, the gauntlets, specifically the uh, Giant's Gloves. And Heliga, just to keep up with hit points. Hey, not haste. Um, actually, haste. Yeah, let's double haste. I'm not sure if haste actually stacks, but if it does, Pixel's about to hit really, really, really hard. <laughs> And it's interesting that the four fiends don't seem to ever use magic of their own element. Like, the Lich never used anything Earth-related. But to be fair, the game doesn't really have Earth-related spells. Uh... Let's try to break you. Let's try to actually turn you to stone. Because the Merilith is actually also... Uh, somewhat susceptible to stuff I got, and you used fire after I was just saying that you don't use spells of your own element. Okay. Prove me wrong, why don't you? I mean, these fiends are certainly a lot stronger than what they were before. And if you didn't have the giant's gloves or haste or anything like that to buff up your fighters, this actually would be pretty hard. Taking a chance here. Rollin, don't die. Cool, Merilith died. One gil, because you know what? You don't need money at this point. Okay, next area. This should be the water floor. It is. We got water elementals. And water elementals are, you know, bad news bears. 
I mean, they're not super hard, but they're kind of annoying with how much they can block. And I think the ultimate treasure in the game is at the very last floor. Or the floor before last. I don't remember. Okay. No. And just like in the Sunken Shrine, I think there's a lot of rooms with nothing in them. They're only there to, to tempt you into looking inside. So... Really... You should just, uh, avoid them if you can. Some doors actually lead you to other doors. <laughs> Surprise enemy, let's leave. I'm taking those surprises as often as I can. Alright. And we go left and up, left and up. Bunch of S's, too many S's for me. As we know, S is my least favorite letter in this game. And they just keep coming back. Sea trolls. Sea scorpions. See me run. Alright. Sea snakes. I'm surprised there are no sea spiders. Oh my goodness. Okay. But they're really making me pay. Because every time I run away, they come back, and they come back with a vengeance. Oh my god. Okay. Yay! I'm out of there. And doing another wraparound. Surprise enemy. I'm just gonna leave. I know running away is kind of boring, but this is just... I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I want to get to the final boss as quick as I can. Because he, he's really cool, actually. While he's kind of plain Jane, he's one of my favorites. But water elementals, they don't, want, they don't like letting you leave, so let's just... Stab some water. Lyra gains levels and and MP. Nice. Uh. Have I already been here? Did I just go in a circle? I hope not. I'm tired of circles. They're my least favorite shape. Okay. Um. Oh god, I think this is a circle. No, 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 no it's not. No it's not, no it's not. Okay, we're going the right way. I just completely missed the door, so I did go in a circle. Oh my god, okay. Run away. The water can't be that bad. Okay, it is that bad. Thundega. You know, I always did wonder, if you're in the water shrine and you use thunder magic, wouldn't you also hurt yourself? But you know, game logic only makes it to where you hurt the things you want to hurt, not yourselves. No. That wouldn't make any sense. Because, you know, the whole water conducts electricity thing. Yeah. Doors! 
They are my oh no ambushes. They're my greatest enemy. <sighs> okay. We're gonna run. Except for Rollin, he's gonna actually toss a uh, lightning bolt. And if we run, cool. If we kill him, awesome. They're doing very little damage, which is great. But my damage is a lot more. Alright. Okay. I still can't believe that Lyra is breaking 800 hit points. That is awesome. I love Lyra. I should do a white uh, wizard run to where it's just white uh, wizards <laughs> banging in the game. Because that would make things interesting, seeing how well they turn out. Freedom! If we can fight the Kraken, we have freedom. Okay. Well... Okay. Uh, Giant's Gloves. You're actually going to use your White Robe to cast Invisera. You're going to haste up and haste up again on Pixel. Buffing Pixel up so he can do high damage to the Kraken. Because the Kraken is a jerk. I mean, he doesn't really have much in terms of skills, but he has really high uh, damage values. He can hit a lot, and each hit hurts. So Invisera should help. And you know, I'm going to do that a couple more times, just to increase our evasion. And actually, if I had the slow spell, which I think I do, I might try that. Slow rough, sure. Let's let's slow you down. Let's make your attacks really crappy. Gonna actually use some strats for this one. Slow rough missed, that's fine though. Uh well, we can have the white wizard use the uh, gauntlets for thunder damage. We can do Thundega with the Red Wizard, which probably won't help, but better than nothing. I mean, this is a water fiend. It does some damage. And doing ink is helping, because it's not in inflicting damage. The group effort here. But man, this this Kraken. Ink? Really? That's all you're gonna do? I do a thousand damage. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna laugh so much if Rollin like just stabs for five damage and it kills him. <laughs> just stab him in the eye. But no, instead we cut all of his legs off. Okay. Okay. This floor is going to be fun because there is an awesome item here that you can easily miss. And if I can get to it, I'll show you the power of the Murasama Blade. Why is everything going first? Is my agility really that terrible? Or does this game just really hate me right now? I feel like the game hates me right now. Especially since I just did a holy light on uh, vampires and didn't freaking do anything, really. It should have one-shot them. Four.
four hits from Lyra, which is impressive. And that hammer she has has to be so bloody. It's so funny. <laughs> Luckily, this floor is really small. Oh, how dare you! 177 damage on a rock. Good job, Rollin. I love it. Zigzags lead to good things. Purple worms, however, they just lead to sadness. And I'm only keeping Lyra in the second slot because she has almost a time and a half the hit points as Deny does. He would be dying a lot more if I kept him up front. Uh, all right. Oh, you're out of your wow zero MP. Okay, well we have an on-use item. We have a light axe that we can use. Oh wow, a Deathbringer actually one shot a Vampire Lord. Impressive. You remember back in the Earth Cave when uh, the Vampire was like a little mini boss? And now you just encounter them all the time? Good times. That shouldn't work. Uh uh uh, no, no, no. Come, oh, Rowland couldn't kill it off? Alright. Well, Deny will handle it. We're getting to the point where levels are just... We're level 50 now. Holy Jesus. So many ethers, so little time. Come on. Rollins at 755 max MP. That's pretty good. Do 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 do. Okay. Maybe if I had like the best spells in the game. Masamune, not Murasama. Sorry guys. Masamune. Best weapon in the game, and anyone can equip it. Uh, it'd be nuts to give it to the knight right now. I could give it to the White Wizard just to give her, you know, really good DPS. Which, I'm gonna do that, that's funny. <laughs> just give her the best weapon in the game. <laughs> Makes the party more balanced, really. And it's just funny handing a White Wizard a bladed weapon. Which isn't traditional to clerics in D&D. They usually hold, like, blunt weapons. So, it's kind of funny to give her something that does 500 damage. <laughs> she can now actually one-shot worms. When she's been doing, like, 18 damage this whole time. That's not gonna work. Stop that. Okay, we're, we're good now. We can actually, everyone can actually really do good damage. So good that she, uh, Lyra can actually probably attack the Tiamat now. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, let's just go for it. I'm not even gonna bother buffing up. I'm gonna... Just attack. Gonna be using denied actually to to heal. And you know what? I'm gonna I will temper up Pixel a little bit. I'm not gonna like do it that much though. Oh no! We're in deep doo doo. Great. Okay. Full life would be excellent right now, but I don't have it.
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'll try it. Life spell. Kiraga. And... Thundega. Okay. This fight actually just got really intense. <laughs> Okay, life spell. Attack. Okay. Uh, Heliga. Kiraja. And High Potion. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to heal this round. That's good. We're, we're back up. We're good. I just... Pixel had really low HP for some reason. And the Thunderbolt just straight up killed him. Okay. Uh... Haste? And haste. I'm gonna actually haste Lyra and Pixel. Lyra, while she has low strength, she's gonna be able to hit really hard. Especially if I do some tempered on her. Which I plan to do. This is this is ridiculous though, having a white mage do this. Ten hits, six seven hundred damage. Okay, we're good. Kiraja. Okay. This shouldn't kill anybody. Cool. Ten hits, 600 damage. Just, just go for it. Go for it, man. She should die, like, right now. Almost. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that one was actually a little intense. Cool. Now on to the next floor. Oh my god, Lyra, you are awesome. Now. The end. The beginning of the end. <laughs> Let's just make sure we're all good to go. Hi, Garland. How are you? Well, do you remember me? At one time, I was a Knight of Cornelia. Two thousand years in the future, I was slain by you. Yes, my name is Garland. You defeated me then, but the four great forces saved me by casting me back through time. Huh? <laughs> Once here, I was I sent the four fiends into the future. I just killed them, though. Literally just killed them to come here, so you can't do that anymore. I it will be them that harnesses the great forces that wait. It will be them that harness the great forces to send me safely into the past. Not anymore. I killed them. In two thousand years I shall know none of this. Cause it won't exist. It won't happen. I killed them. But I will be reborn here again. No, you won't. This, I'm sorry. This whole time loop thing is now... It, it's severed because I killed the fiends. They're dead. You, you, you can't... If they're dead in the past, you can't use them in the future. So even as you die, over and over, I shall always return. No, you won't. <laughs> 
return to this endless circle that I have created. It, it, I broke it. I hate circles, remember? Welcome to Chaos! One of the most, I guess, bogus fights in the game? With some of the best battle music, really. We're gonna spend the first couple turns, though, uh, buffing up. Giant's gloves and all. Uh. Yeah. Let's do some hastes. I think in this version, Chaos has like 10,000 HP. In the original, he only had 2,000. But Chaos basically goes through a spell list. He goes through uh, Blizzaga, Fireaga, all the all the all the major elemental spells, plus some special ones. And uh, he's a jerk, so I guess I can do Hilga. I can start doing like Null Shock, and I can haste him up even more. 18 hits, 500 damage. Ow. There we go. Uh, just attack, I guess. I will just keep tempering. The white wizard in the in the night. Eighty-four damage from the mass immune. Thousand damage from the from the night. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep temp tempering up. I mean, if I can do 2,000 damage per turn, this fight shouldn't take that long. But Lyra's gonna have to stop and heal. That looks like a powerful blaze. Uh oh. Okay. It's roughly about 1,000 damage a turn. That's not terrible. But I will do a Heliga. I'll ether up denied, and I will temper up pixel. Okay, that feels better. That feels a lot better. Temper up the white uh, wizard now. It's always nice to do that before an attack. Tsunami's gonna hurt. I think it's purely ice elemental. Okay. Not bad. Got both tempers off, though. Okay. Uh, Heliga... I mean, I know this might seem like a boring strategy, but it does... Ah, oh, oh, God. It does work. And if you have a Master Monk, you can just do this strategy and it'll hurt even more. The Master Monk actually is the strongest uh, melee damage in the entire game. Just with the amount of uh, attacks it, it, he, he can do. It's, it's amazing. Psych- uh-oh. Oh, god. Don't kill the white wizard, please! Cool. I'm actually a little worried about this fight. I mean, I shouldn't die as long as I stay on top of it. But he could kill me if I just forget something. Earthquake, don't kill anybody. That's a quake spe-
Okay. Am I gonna have to do this without Pixel? That's gonna suck. That's why we have someone else with a life spell or that can use Phoenix Downs. Alright. Uh, Ether. Okay, okay. You did a physical. You did. You did a melee attack. That's good. Okay. Uh. If I can do an elixir, that'd be great. He's no longer hasted though, which really sucks. Uh, do I? Okay. Do I have elixirs at all? I don't think I do. I don't think elixirs actually exist in this game. Oof. Alright, um... High Potion? Okay, Pixel died. Blazing it up. Oh, man. Ow. Kiraga. The White Wizard. Because she matters the most right now. Oh, wasting magic or in and items. Full life would be amazing right now. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take a chance here. This could either work or not work. This won't work if Rollin goes last. Okay. Ah! I was hoping for Rollin to get the Phoenix down off, and then for both of the Kiragas to hit, which didn't happen. Okay. Well, in that case, I will use a High Potion. I will do uh, Heliga because everyone's hurt. Uh. Kira because it's better than a high potion and high and high potion on the fighter. Mm. My TPS now is like significantly reduced. I may just have to do it without him. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um that really sucks. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. I might even just... Okay. 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 Tsunami's gonna hurt. A lot. Just don't kill Denied. I don't need another person dead. Okay. Unfortunately, Chaos's speed must be really high. Yeah, zero MP. Okay, uh, high potion. High potion. Come on! It's only a matter of time before he does an AoE and it's gonna kill off Denied. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. This would be a lot easier. Oh, that's my last Phoenix down. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. Yes, good turn order. Lyra is going to do the Heelga. We got the Ether off so we can get more heals. Okay, okay. We're back in it. Hopefully we can survive. Heliga, Kiraga, Ether, again. Oh god, please, okay. Please, 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 please. Okay.
Okay, we're barely surviving, but we got it. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Temper up the night. Haste up the night. Ow. Big hit. This is possible without the ultimate spells in the game, I promise. It can be done. I'm gonna prove it right now. Okay, got the Heliga off. Lyra should survive. The Earthquake is what killed Pix in the first... Okay, good. Killed nobody. Lyra should survive anything now. Just attack, please. Just, just... Let's get this over with. Like, this fight should not be this hard. Maybe he has 20,000 HP, because this is taking forever. Blazing it up. You're not gonna kill me, that's fine. I really wish haste would increase your agility, or increase your turn order, not just your attacks. Because if it did, I, could, I would cast it on Lyra and have her go quicker. But it doesn't work that way, I don't think. Okay. Uh, Hilaga. Hiraga. Temper up. So, oh no. We might lose Pixel and Deny, but I'm pretty sure Deny just died. Whew! Okay, nobody died. Good. And Pixel lays the final blow on Chaos. Thank goodness. Oh my god. That took way longer than I wanted it to, but we did it. We got it. We killed him. Chaos is gone. Chaos is killed. The world will no longer be in chaos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Enjoy the, 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 the you, you did it theme, you know. Enjoy it, because that was well deserved. The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended, and peace prevailed once more. I killed the fiends, but whatever. <laughs> like, if, if the fiends powered it, I don't understand how it would keep going after I killed them. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. Powers combined, Captain Planet! It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chain of Garland's wrath. But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. Monsters ran rampant, and the world sank into darkness. Eh? You mean the darkness that we already, like, dispelled? Yeah, but all that is now past. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they knew. A world where Princess Sarah, Queen... Queen... Jay? Jane? And even Garland himself await. Wait, was there ever a queen? Or was the king a queen the whole time? 
When was it that time fell into its spiraling loop? I don't know. When was that fateful day? I don't think it ever tells us, but okay. None can say. Yeah, because nobody knows. It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. This is confusing as, as crap, man. Did we sever the time loop or not? Did the, but the bravery of the four young travelers prevailed. They grasped the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to restore it to light. Okay, so we broke the time loop. Why would you say in a confusing way like that? No one will ever recall the struggles the four endured. For the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. But in the tales of fantasy that people tell one another, the memory of their deed will live on. How if no one knows it happened? If it did. Okay. <laughs> Tales of dwarves and elves, and of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reached for the very heavens even as they fell. Now they return to us. No one knows who they are, because this is a timeline that never existed. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for the dark. And that the true crystals reside in your heart. Because you, viewers, are the heart of this Captain Planet Syndrome. For you are the warrior who crossed time. I told you we were the heart of it all. <sighs> as confusing as that ending is... Oh, there's more. You are the bringer of lights. The end? Cut to white, because, you know, bringer of light. Final Fantasy! Cut scenes everywhere as we go to credits. Um, well, I want to thank you all for watching. This is a very awesome game that is a wonderful introduction to RPGs. Like, if you're looking to go into the RPG realm, and you're looking for a good game that won't, like, pull your hair out. This is, a, this is a good one. I mean, the very last dungeon made, made me almost want to just, you know, scream, but hey, <laughs> it's only because, you know, in my off time, I actually take my time to go through dungeons, but on a video, I try to do as quick as I can, but I was just... Doors are, the, are like my worst enemy. I miss them all the time. But... Hope you enjoyed this wonderful, you know, Captain Planet. I, I keep calling it Captain Planet Syndrome, but it's a great uh, story about the elements of the world and how they can be used for the powers of good or evil and how you, or us, as players, can unite the world again because it's been torn asunder by those who abuse that power. And I just, I love the Final Fantasy series. Most games are, are I, I really like. And the music alone just makes me keep coming back to it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, leave comments down below. Tell me what you think. And I would be more than happy to play this game again with different, you know, party, uh, 
party compositions like, we didn't use a black bell or a thief in this run, and I would be more than happy to use them, use them in the next one. And I may even do like, you know, no mages at all. Like, you can, you can have like two fighters, two thieves, or, you know, two uh, monks, two thieves, whatever, whatever you want to do. This game has a lot of nice replay value. And it serves as a very good introduction to a well-known series that, I mean, there's a Final Fantasy XV out right now. I haven't played that one myself, but they keep making Final Fantasy games. It's a franchise that I don't ever see dying. And that just tells you how good it is, how much people how much people like it. But there will be more games to come on this channel. Especially if you enjoyed this one, there will be more Final Fantasy to come, as well as other series, so check them out. And I will see you guys next time, in the next game, as we play another adventure, another day. Thank you, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye for now!